Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. And this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in October so that you can plan accordingly. So I've already shuffled quite a bit. I'm just going to give it a few more shuffles and we will get started. Okay, so the awareness of the week, the emperor who flew out of the deck and the queen of cups. So the emperor, the word that comes to mind with the emperor is presence and command that this is a week where you need to take ownership. You need to take leadership of the things that are important to you. The emperor sits on his throne. He has experience. He has wisdom. He is looking at the big picture uh, for the collective good of his people. And with the emperor, he has set forth the structure and the organization of his community. And so as everyone follows in line, life is good. Um, this emperor requires the structure. The structure is what makes everything successful for him. So for you, there's a sense here, Pisces, of gaining control and taking command and, and using your confidence to make decisions and to rule on your own behalf for your best interest. With the emperor, there's a sense sometimes that um, maybe thinking it's my way or the highway. And, you know, the, the thing to be mindful of is to not be too rigid or too domineering in what you're seeking. There's a way to have presence and there's a way to show command, but also to do it in a, not, not sure of the word, a temperate fashion. But there is lots of experience. There's lots of success here. Use that power of the emperor for yourself and uh, the ability to be structured and to bring some organization into your life as you make decisions. So along with this confidence and command, here's the queen of cups, bringing the gentleness, bringing the emotionally present and aware side of support. So whether you're a queen of cups and you are providing a loving, uh, support system or ear lending an ear to someone else, or maybe that's something that you need that you would benefit from someone listening and understanding where you're coming from. And isn't that what it's all about? That sometimes we just need someone to appreciate where we are without judgment and the queen is an expert in emotions, understanding emotions, and using intuition, intuition to suss out the situation. So whether you're providing this support or whether you're receiving it, this is a helpful energy. So we have judgment, the major arcana in terms of guidance and the queen of pentacles. So judgment, we see the, the beings here rising out of the coffin, greeting the horn, listening to the call. It's very much a sense of rebirth that this is a call to you to awaken you from this dead feeling that you may have within your life to this feeling of, I'm not reaching my purpose. I'm not, uh, I haven't fulfilled my dream or my vision or whatever it may be, or whatever the universe is telling me to do. I'm falling short. And it's this call to you that you stop and you judge and you evaluate your own life. And you do so without punishing yourself for what came before. 
you have to forgive and to let it go. You have the chance to be cleansed. You have a chance for rebirth, um, transformation, a restructuring, and again, a reawakening. It's never too late to have a second chance. It's never too late to recreate or to build something that's going to fulfill you. And so judgment is hearing that call and feeling moved to make changes and to do things that are going to benefit and for you to find your highest self. So here we have another strong queen within the mix. And this is the queen of earth, of common sense, being practical, pragmatic, likes good things, likes nice things, finds comfort in nature and in, um, you know, comfortable things at home. The home has to be a beautiful place ruled by Venus. So this queen, you know, staring loving, lovingly at that pentacle and is probably thinking, I enjoy the security of having this. I enjoy what it brings to my life, which is I can relax. I can enjoy uh, the material comforts that bring me happiness. This queen is loving and nurturing and will take care of those that she cares about. So again, whether this is support that you're going to benefit from, a queen of pentacles within your life, someone who is in touch, understanding, oh, you're under the weather, let me bring you some soup. How are you doing? What's going on? Following up. She's successful, she's resourceful, and she is caring. So the pragmatic common sense side is, you know, doing the work that's required, paying attention to friends, paying attention to family, multitasking, taking care of the responsibilities, you know, making sure the responsibilities are met, paying the bills on time, making the sale, um, you know, uh, repurposing something that you found at a flea market. So in terms of guidance, you're having some thoughts about purpose, perhaps, and finding your highest self. And you have a lot of, um, a lot of qualities here, or attributes, or people that can help give you additional support or information or guidance on how to proceed. So in terms of possible outcomes, here's the queen of swords. Cause you know why she had to join the party. She had to be known here. And this queen of swords is ruling <laughs> with confidence and decision. She is the decision maker. She is got that blade straight up and down and uh, despite she's like rising above the clouds here, that's how elevated she is in her position because she's so smart. And this is about using your smarts. So you're getting all of these messages, which is be pragmatic, common sense, and use your confidence and, and make those decisions and take charge. But don't forget to use your intuition or lean on people that you need for support. So it seems that you have either a support system in place or that you're going to be going to certain people, or these are the qualities that you're going to embody and that you're going to bring to the table. The queen of swords suffers, does not suffer fools gladly, if that's the correct expression. Uh, so, you know, get your shit together. When you make decisions, know your facts, know your information, know what you need to do and rule decisively. Don't rule on innuendo, rule on facts and information. Be informed. So with this sense of informed and all of these people helping, we get to the world. And the world is the completion, the culmination of the project, the journey, the path, whatever you've been working on. And she is celebrating. She's being recognized. She's enjoying the moment 
because you know the journey is never easy. There's adversity, there's good points, and there are tough points along the way. And here, this is the time to take stock that you've, you have reached the end and you're happy about it. You're able to enjoy it. You may be thinking, what's next for me? Because once one cycle ends, it doesn't mean that everything's over. Then you start anew and you think of something else. So this is an interesting set of cards here with a lot of people. Uh, just very curious. Let's see what we have for an affirmation for the week. Turn that around. Inner power, the Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co creating my world with me. So, again, listening to the Divine Father, we have strong characters here. Listening to the universe, allowing yourself to hear the call, judgment and the epiphany, leading perhaps to contentment and um, fulfillment. And so let's also choose a uh, love oracle card. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness is uh, can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Makes me think of the Queen of Pentacles, simple acts of kindness, you know, bringing over a freshly made blueberry pie or writing a beautiful note. How are you? Being in touch, making the call, simple things can bring such joy and happiness to others. So Pisces, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you a great week and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.